Hey folks, welcome to episode 5 of OSRS Lore Library. If you'd like to know where I've been, stick around to the end of the video. With sailing coming to the game at some point, maybe, I thought it'd be nice to inform the community about the book that is already in game that informs us of strategies that are going to help those of us who want to plunder succeed on the open waters. I'm here in Mostly Armless, hanging out with my pirate buddies as you can see, and that's fitting because today we'll be reading an instructional manual of sorts. The Little Book of Piracy, or just Book of Piracy. It's given to the players who've helped build Teach in the Cabin Fever quest by Bill himself. He describes it in his own words as a book that will learn ye how to be a pirate, or at least learn ye how to talk proper like one. That be all ye need to do. If you've lost your copy of Book of Piracy, you can return to Bill for another or as with most other books in the lore library, find them in your player on house bookshelf. Collecting library fees. Now, without any further delay, let's get right into The Little Book of Piracy by Captain Hookhan Morrison, an Amkey product. Chapter 1 So, you've decided to become a pirate. Piracy, a life of adventure and romance, the stuff of legends and tales told all over the world. And you, humble reader, have decided to join these brave men and women in an exciting field of unlicensed privateering and wholesale plunder redistribution. I congratulate you on making the correct lifestyle choice. While many consider pirates to be unwashed, ignorant, thieving brigands, the truth is that they are a valued and important part of the economy. Without them, the architects that design sea defenses against their attacks would be unemployed. The guards in seaports would be laid off, and the honest merchants that buy their second-hand goods would lose a small portion of their income. So, you see, by living the life filled with adventure, thievery, romance, plundering, danger, and stealing, they are adding to the happiness of the community as a whole. Surely these brave individuals have nothing to be ashamed of for selling their hard-earned loot to respectable merchants in exchange for a reasonable sum of gold. I would go as far to say as it's their duty to redistribute such wealth that they come across this way so as to uphold the noble, ancient, and profitable honor of the pirates. Chapter 2. Looking like a pirate. First, to be recognized as a pirate, you'll have to look like a pirate. If you look like an accountant, then people will be confused when you begin talking about briny deep this and plundering that. It also saves time explaining at parties and other social gatherings exactly what you do for a living, allowing precious extra hours of plundering and looting. Pirates must look nautical. This look can be achieved by wearing trousers made of old sails, usually striped. You can also wear an old tattered naval uniform. This makes you look like you've been trained by the Navy before you left for your own dark and grim reasons. I suggest that you come up with at least two good reasons why you've left, as customs and excise attend to alert naval officials to deserters. Piracy is a dangerous profession, and it can be hazardous to the pirate's extremities. Preventing such injuries with either a hand covering hook or a patch to protect your eye is always a good plan. This also leaves you prepared for the eventual loss of the extremity, as you are already carrying a replacement around with you. Piratical accessories can also include, but are not limited to, cutlasses and scimitars, pirate hats, face masks, bandanas, and flashy jewelry. Chapter 3. Pirate to Gillinorian Phrasebook Arr means good morning, hello, or I agree. Scurvy has two meanings, actually. One. It can mean a disease contracted when sailing, caused by a lack of fresh fruit and vegetables. Example, Captain and the Gunners be a bunch of scurvy dogs. Or it could mean inferior or untrustworthy. Example, Captain and the Gunners be a bunch of scurvy dogs. Captain. That means Captain. Plunder means anything of value that can be traded with any honest Alcaridian merchants for a reasonable sum of money. Land lover refers to any non-pirate. Grrr means I am going to attack you. 
take this, or it's time for fisticuffs, and make no mistake. I say we kill all him, means I propose we do unpleasant things to them until they are dead, very sorry, or both. Aye aye, means I am an emphatic or otherwise exuberant agreement with your statement. Say that again and I'll kill ye, means I deny the truth of your statement. Ye, your, yeel, yeave. You, your, you'll, you. Want a sip of rum? Means I would like to poison you. Grog is alcohol with the exception of rum. Rum can mean either one, anything poisonous, acidic, or caustic substance. Two, the concentrated liquid form of all that is foul. Go see Ali. Travel to Alcarid and sell loot and purchase top quality products. Broadside can mean one, to fire all cannons on one side of the ship at the same time, or two, a pirate of great size. I'm not a pirate, I'm a privateer. Means that I am a pirate and I'm getting paid for it. Party! I have become tired of life. Kill me at your leisure. Widershins! A debilitating disease caused by eating moldy biscuits for a month. Symptoms include weakness in the limbs, spinning vision, spontaneous combustion, and implosion of the earlobes. Forby! A common greeting said, Be for goodbye. Forby, Captain. Lovely day. Hornswoggle. To swoggle or cover with soft cloth. The ship's horn or compass to keep safe and dry during storms. Drivel swigger. Small metal implement used for removing weevils from hard tack rations. Abaft. Direct polar opposite of a vast. Binnacled. Condition relating to the consumption of exquisite quantities of cheap alcohol or small quantities of rum. Sound the alarm, Mr. Bosun. Pirates off the starboard bow. Not so loud, Captain. I be feeling a little binnacled. Duffel. Something like a seafaring goblin, only not. Athwar ships. Ath Athwart ships. A period spent apprenticed to a pirate. Learning piracy, getting drunk, and culminating in the loss of a leg, eye, or hand. And, last but not least, Davy's Grip. A popular drinking game involving mangoes, a hammer, and all the corkscrews that players can get their hands on. If you want further information on how it's played, me too. You'll have to wait for sailing. Do not let Jagex sweep this under the rug. I demand an explanation. Thank you. And, that's the end of the book, folks. Now, you should have all you need to be a successful pirate. And, just for an interesting tidbit for those of you who do not play RuneScape 3, in March of 2018, they actually received an upgraded book for completing a further pirate quest called Pieces of Hate. The new book is called Big Book of Piracy, and it functions and reads mostly the same, but with the added benefit of rum charge teleports to four locations. Mostly Harmless, Brain Death Island, Dragon Tooth Island, and Harmony Island. Now that you're all caught up on how to be the best pirate ye can be, get out there and prepare to sail the seas in search of plunder of ye own. Thanks for watching. And if you made it this far, you've probably stuck around for the note that I mentioned earlier on where I've been. Uh, it's been about two years since I've uploaded. Um, this has always been a hobby for me. It's just something that I just want to make videos sometimes, I guess. I don't know. I get bored. Um, I have a full-time job and nine subscribers, so this is not my full-time job. I have a lot going on in my life. I bought a house. I got married. And I just didn't have time to create and upload videos, but that's, that's changed now. And uh, there might be more of these in the future. Um, 
more lore libraries, maybe some more uh, just general lore tidbits, maybe some fun facts or trivia. I don't know. We'll see. I might not upload ever again. We'll find out. And if anybody has any suggestions or comments, please let me know. Thank you very much. Goodbye.